In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of partitions. Let's imagine we have a jar full of coins on a table and we pour them out and sort them into piles. A pile for pennies, one for nickels, one for dimes, and one for quarters. This is a very, very basic example of partitioning a set. Each of the separate piles that we did is the partition and the jar full of coins we've now partitioned into four classes. And any time we do this thing, any time we file or sort or classify objects, we're performing a very simple act of partitioning a set. So let's try to make this a little more exact. In order to partition a set, we're going to separate the elements of our set into non-empty subsets. We'll call these A1, A2, A3, etc. So this can be a finite set or an infinite set of sets. This can be a finite list of sets or an infinite list of sets, but the main thing is that they are non-empty. There's no empty sets in this list. We call these sets the classes of the partition. We need two things to be true for a partition. The first, AI intersect AJ is equal to the empty set for I equal to J. So what this says, if we pick any two distinct sets, their intersection is empty. In other words, every element of my set needs to go into only one of these. It should not be able to go into more than one of these sets. The second thing, the union of these classes is A. So if I take the union of all of these sets, all of the classes, I should be able to get the entire original set A. So essentially every element of A needs to be able to go in one and only one of these. It should not be possible for me to pick an element of A and put it into two of these subsets, and it should not be able to be possible for me to pick none of these subsets, so it needs to go in exactly one of these. Mathematically, it can be awkward to deal with the actual process of partitioning a set, so it's more convenient to deal with the result of partitioning a set. This family of subsets that are non-empty, mutually disjoint, and whose union is all of A. Let's look at some examples. For every rational number r, I'm going to let ar be the set of ordered pairs m comma n, which belong to z cross z star. So integers where the second coordinate cannot be zero. And we have such that the condition m over n is equal to r. And I want to show this is a partition of z cross z star. So there are two things I need to show. The first thing I need to show is that AR intersect to AS is equal to the empty set for all values R not equal to S. Let's suppose I have this ordered pair XY that belongs to both AR and AS. Well, since it's in AR, we know that R is equal to X over Y. And since it's in A sub S, we know that X of Y is equal to S by the conditions of how these are defined. So these are equal, which tells us that R is equal to S. So if there's an element in both sets, if there's an element in this intersection, then it must be that it is the same set. So this part is done. Next, we need to prove that the union over all rational numbers of all the ARs is equal to the set Z cross Z star. Let's let XY belong to Z cross Z star. Then, by definition of the rational numbers, I can form a rational number x over y, since y cannot be 0, and these are just integers. Well, then we have that the xy must belong to the set of ar, so the union would be all of z cross z star. So I have shown that this is a partition of z cross z star. For each r in the set of real numbers, let's let a sub r be equal to the ordered pairs x, y, and r cross r, such that x minus y is equal to r. So first let's show these are disjoint. Let's let x, y be in the set a sub r as well as a sub s. Since it's in a r, I know r is equal to x minus y. And since x, y is in a sub s, I know that x minus y is equal to s. 
Therefore, R is equal to S. So that shows me that they're disjoint. The second step, let's take a point X, Y, and R cross R. Well, then I know I will be able to subtract them and it will be equal to a real number. And so X, Y will definitely belong to one set A sub R. So therefore, yes, this is a partition of R cross R.